Okay, today we have here this device which we're going to be able to recover in an easy and quick way. In this video tutorial, we're not going to use a PC. We're going to use a completely different method, a method without a PC to be able to access our device in this easy and quick way. What are we going to do? First of all, before starting the process, we have to connect to a Wi-Fi network. As we can see on the upper left side, our device has this little padlock. The first thing we did was reset it because it had a screen lock. When we reset our device, it now has that little padlock. Previously, when our phone showed accessibility, it was because our the device no longer had that screen lock, it gave us access. But this function these devices have been updated so that accessibility still appears, but our phone is still completely locked. It doesn't let us access it. So previously, we could also access it through Talvat by activating Talvat. Activating accessibility, and from there we could go to settings and solve that problem. But these devices have been updated quite a bit. And now there are also methods to solve it via PC. We have methods to recover our device via PC. Previously, we could also enter the asterisk, number zero, key. Then the asterisk, hash, and activate ADB debugging. But that method doesn't work either. It's already working. So what we're going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network first, and then we're going to follow the steps until we see our device's screen lock. We now have the same lock, now. Also linked to the Google account, the Gmail account. So, we're going to explain one of the easiest and fastest ways to access your device. We're going to click here where it says, add. Then we're going to click here on manual. We're going to click OK. And now we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We re going to follow these steps. For those who want to see other completely different methods, we've left them in the video description and in the first pinned comment so you can find a solution and recover your device. This way. This method is completely easy and fast, and you'll be able to access it. Other additional methods, as we mentioned in the description, and in the first pinned comment, for those solutions. We're going to wait until we get to where the new lock appears, where the screen lock and the Google account are displayed. From there, we go back to begin the recovery process. Also, another thing I want to mention is that YouTube has enabled the members community session. For those who are always attentive to our video tutorials and want to subscribe to that community to support us. What would be the benefit of the community? The benefit would be that we will be publishing videos in advance in that community. We're going to start publishing. We're making sure you can also take advantage of these videos. We'll also be answering all your comments. Here we have the screen lock. It says to use a Google account. We'll click here where it says, use my Google account. In this case, for those who know their email address, they can enter it. After entering the email, click next. Then it will ask for the password. Once you add the email, you'll add the password and click next. It's that easy and quick to give you access to your device. But sometimes people don't remember their email address. If you don't remember your email address and you have your phone number saved, because it says Gmail or phone number here, you can enter the phone number and click next. 
it will send you a verification code. But the phone number doesn't have to be entered on this device. It doesn't have to be entered here, because you won't receive the code. It has to be on a completely unlocked device. You enter the number. Click Next, and then you'll receive a verification code. Write it down, and then it will give you some steps to configure it and access your device. If you don't have any of these cases, then you're going to click. Here where it says, Forget Gmail. Here you're going to write anything. Click Next. Here you're also going to write anything. This is to enable a function that we'll need later. We're going to do this. We're going to click it for about 30 seconds. When those 30 seconds have passed, we're going to go back. We're going to wait for those 30 seconds to pass. As we also mentioned in the video description, and in the first pinned comment, there's a completely updated method. We do this process. When those 30 seconds have passed, what we're going to do now is go back. We go back, back. Now forward. Here we're going to get to where the network is. We're going to click here where it says, add new network. Here we're going to click this little gear that appears here. We click the gear. We're going to click here, then we click here. No, not here, not here either. Not all three. We. Click here on update, we go back, we select the last option. We click here where it says reset. Here these four options will appear. This is it, we'll select the first one, we click reset. Now we select the second one, we do the same thing in the red letters. We do the same thing in the red letters, then here we're going to click here where it says delete. We delete that cache from our phone as well. Now what we're going to do is press the power button and the volume down button at the same time and we're going to make our phone restart automatically. When our phone restarts automatically. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone to take us directly to the home screen. When it takes us directly, we're going to complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step so you don't miss any details and can solve this. Recovering the device this way is easy and fast. Let's wait until it takes us to the start screen. This way we'll complete the recovery process. Now that our device has started correctly, Let's finish this process. How are we going to do it? We're going to click here, click here, click. Here on, add, and then we're going to select. The first option that appears here, which says, scan QR code. We click here, scan. Now that we've scanned the QR code, we're going to need another device another phone what do we need a google account on the other phone we're going to need a google account and a screen lock i'm going to take this phone and create any account here i'm going to add an account i can write anything here i click next here i write the date here the day here i write the year here i select any gender I select any of these options here. Here I write anything. Here. Ready. Here it goes. To give access, I'm going to click here on skip. We click next and we click on add. This account that I just created here is the one we're going to sync here. We click accept here it would give us access. 
we click accept here it's going to give us what is access. Here we have. And this would be the account that we're going to add there, look at it well. It already starts with the Y, so what are we going to do? We're going to need a Google account too. We're going to need a screen lock. We're going to sync this screen lock to this device. We're going to tap here on Google and select the little camera icon that appears here. We tap, open, and scan this QR code. Here we can see, sign in. We're going to tap here where it says, sign in, so that both codes, both accounts, are synced. We'll enter our screen lock here. And now both the lock and the Google account will be synced. Both options will be synced. Now we're going to wait a few seconds. Repeat the same step, and we can remove the device. Now, what are we going to do to complete the recovery process? What we're going to do now is press the power button and the volume down button at the same time. We're going to press those two buttons, restarting our device. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time, but it does on the second. That sometimes happens with some methods on other devices I've used. Sometimes it doesn't work for me. Sometimes it's also because you might miss a detail and not enable the functions we indicated at the beginning of the video. It won't work. You'll be able to solve this process. Now, that's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial and activate everything we do in this tutorial. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone to start up. When it starts up, then we're going to finish the process. It started here. It started here. Ready. Now we're going to finish the configuration. We're going to complete the recovery process. We click here on add, we click on add, we're going to wait, as we said. Now we see that Google account, which is there via email. As you can see, the email appears here. Email added, it has been added successfully. When it appears, it will give us access. And we're still going to click here where it says, don't copy. Here it will appear, you're going to click on, skip, click. On, skip, enter your screen lock. As you can do, you can add your lock here. I, am not going to add it here. Here we can see the email again, we see it there. We click here, accept, we click here on, more, skip. We click on, skip, and now here it will take us directly, we click in the small print. The blue letters, we click on skip. We click on skip, we click on add. We click on next, we click on next, we wait a few. More seconds, and now we're going to click here on start. We click on finish, that way our device would be completely ready. To use, here it will ask us for the account we had. The one we have there will appear here, you'll be able to see it. There. S no need to add another account, with this one we have here. We can already access our device, adding a screen lock. And configuring it.